Okay, so you just can't have eight RTX 4090s and not try an NVIDIA Omniverse. So in this video right here, we're going to be seeing how eight RTX 4090s perform in NVIDIA Omniverse Create. And we have actually, this is a demo sample, which I really like because the detail on this suit right here is just amazing. It's the astronaut. So you can, again, do the same things that I'm doing here in this demo with your device. So we have eight RTX 4090s right now. And as you can see, it's only using one right now. It doesn't need all eight because we're just using this in real time. So I have a small, very small sequence in here. I'm going to play it back. It's this little animation camera moving. I mean, even with one RTX 4090, it's doing a pretty good job. But this is real time though, All right, This is not path tracing. So to go to path tracing, we'll go to path tracing right here. And now you're gonna see all eight are going to turn on. That being said, it resolved 200 samples per pixel in 2.24 seconds, okay? Uh, that's pretty low. And the resolution is pretty low. So it's not really like, amazing or whatever. So let's change this to 2048. And that's going to resolve this resolution in 2048 samples per pixel. All right. So let's wait for that for a second. So this is in editor right now is where you see in and all of this, um, all of them are working. So that resolved 2048 in 18.83 seconds. Um, and like always, I turned off the noising. So the noising is off. So let's compare now with one RTX 4090. As you can see, it's going to disable the other seven. Um, so it's about 18 seconds it resolving at that resolution with eight. And what you're going to notice here is that it doesn't really use all of it if it doesn't need to use all of it, if that makes sense. Right. So that was like 18 seconds with eight. And as you can see right here, it's going to be roughly about 30, maybe 35 seconds to 40 seconds with one. Um, so you're not going to see it there. See, 34 seconds with one. So 18 with eight, 34 with one. But where you're going to see the difference in is going to be in the rendering. Okay. So let's do this example. Again, I have whatever frames in here. I'll just go to real time for now. So we have this animation starts zero. So I have the movie capture already enabled right here. If you don't know where that's at, let's go to Windows and then rendering, go to movie capture. So this is the movie render for that. Again, we're gonna go with 2560 by 1440, it's 1440p, all right? And we're gonna render one frame for now. All right, let's go with one frame for now so you can see what this looks like. We're gonna change this to path tracing now. And again, I have 2048 samples per pixel and for the subframe for the motion blur settings, I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm not gonna mess around with that too much because honestly, our character is not really moving. So in path tracing, motion blur settings is not just one setting. You have to really do a trial and error. As far as for me, my experience, you have to do trial and error to see which one works best for your scene. So we're not going to mess around with motion blur. We're just going to render it at 2048 samples per pixel and make sure that we have GPU turned off, multiple GPU turned off. All right. And make sure that also in path tracing, we have multiple GPU turned off. So make sure right here, the noising is off and multiple GPU is turned off. All right, because whenever you switch this right here, it will swap that automatically there. So it's fine. Path tracing 2048, and we have one GPU. So we only have one in there. I'm not going to increase that. So now let's go ahead and capture this current frame. Okay, so that finished. I'm going to go ahead and post how long that took on the screen right now. That's with one GPU. All right, and let's take a look at the image. If we go to capture right here, we have the image. I mean, that looks pretty good, right? Path tracing, man. Of course, it's going to look good. So I'll minimize that. It's about 6.2 megabytes. It's good. I'll minimize this now. Now, what I'm going to do is go to path tracing right here, and we'll enable path trace multi-GPU. Additionally, I'm going to set a sample per pixel per iteration here. Now, this block right here, again, you're going to have to test around for yourself. I usually start with the number of GPUs that I have. So with this one, I started with eight. I actually found that I can increase this to 64 and it would still look good. All right. So watch what happens. Now I will capture the current frame. 
This is with multi-GPU. And that rendered in 3.8 seconds. So if I go back to my capture, these two are perfectly identical. Right? So this took, the one on the right took three point something seconds. And this one took, I know it was like over a minute something. Crazy stuff. And I know what you're thinking. What if you go with 64 somehow and just turn off multi-GPU? Right? So let's do that. 64, 2048, 1 capture frame. It's not going to do anything. You're going to need multiple GPU for you to see the result of that. Okay, so this is going to take the same amount of time as one GPU. So I'll cancel this because this is going to take the same amount of time as having just one GPU. But I wanted to show you that because I don't want you to think, oh, because you put 64 on there, it's going to render faster. No, it's, it's going to be the same thing because you only have one GPU working. Right. And I know the next thing you're going to want to ask is, okay, that was a still. How about a movie? All right. So let's do that. All right. So what we'll do now is actually turn on multi GPU. All right. So here we go. Multi GPU is on. And I'm going to leave everything by default 64, 2048. And we have 48 frames. I'm going to render 48 frames at 1440p. And we're going to save it as an MP4. So I'm going to capture the sequence now. This is path tracing and see how long this takes. Three minutes for 48 frames. Now granted, this scene is, is pretty simple, I understand that, but 3.83 seconds for a frame path trace, 2048 samples. If time is money, again, if you're working in an NVIDIA Omniverse and you render a lot of path tracing, if time is really money, you would save so much more money than going to a render farm online and having them render your movies for you. And again, this is what excited me the most about NVIDIA Omniverse when I started using it a couple of years ago because I saw this multi-GPU support, path tracing. And honestly, I ask, where does it stop? Where does the buck stop with that? If we have 16 RTX 4090s, what will happen? And I was told, honestly, probably the only limitation to this is actually being able to create a machine with 16 RTX 4090s. You can need a custom chassis motherboard. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know any motherboards that's gonna have 16 different in one machine, of course. I'm talking about one physical machine. But as far as I was told, you can keep going with GPUs. And that's insane. That's insane. You can pretty much have your own render farm at home and own heater as well. It's a double whammy. 3.8 seconds. This is this is some crazy stuff, man. And this is just a 4090. What happens when the 5090 comes out and I put eight of those in a row and render? I think by then we might really have real-time path tracing, or if not, pretty darn close. All right, so that's about three minutes and five seconds for 48 frames. And let's take a look at the video. So here's the capture video. Right click, open with, <laughs> teaching you how to open a video. All right, so I'm gonna rewind that. All right, I'm gonna make it loop. So I'm gonna make it loopable. Turn repeat on, press play. That rendered in three minutes, path trace, Zero denoising. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this experiment. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think. 
honestly, this is oh, man again the fastest computer I've ever I've ever actually used ever. Three second path trace per frame. So with that being said, if you want to check out the link to this machine, I'll put it in the description below. Go ahead and check it out so you can see what it looks like, how many PSUs and all that stuff. But wow, amazing. I'll see you on the next one.